This conference will now be recorded. Yes, tell me. Uploading the contact. Error converting value to correct data type failed to pass date. Sorry, I cannot understand. I cannot understand. When, uh, when I uploaded that the contact files, import the contacts, but 10 contacts, uh, three are contact are uh, imported, but the six contacts are getting error. Uh -huh. Converting value of correct data type. Uh -huh. So uh, that failed to I pass you, date. That's okay. Does the date is wrong? Then the format is wrong, right? But the remaining three are done. Uh, could be. So again, uh, take and use an Excel formatting brush to format it. I don't think that I need to teach you okay. Excel, guys. Now. Right. Yeah. Please. It's not yeah, an MS Excel class. So if your data is not in okay. a format, so it is giving an error. That means three is passing, three in a correct format. The living three are not. Mm -hmm. Remaining six are not. You might be how can it be Rupam? It's the same. No, it's not same. If I say R R, if I say R R, if I say S S or D D, K K, right? All are in same format. Okay. No, if first three is getting loaded, you have this brush. See, this is called formatting brush. Okay. Brush everything. Then it will come to the same format. Oh. Don't go by the yeah. look. Don't trust your eyes. Right? See, for example, I'm I'm typing today's okay. date. What is today's date? Right? 18. What is that? SEP SEP 2020. Right? What is shown okay. in your eyes? What you can see in the screen? Tell me. Yeah, 18 September to 2020. But at the back end, how's the data is that? Look here on the top. Yeah. Same the month first. Right. See, same here you see 18 dash SCP dash 20. But at the back end, how it's looking? Month nine first. slash nine slash 18 slash 20. So don't go by this look. Don't go by this look. So look is giving like this format it properly. If the first is loading, take the brush. This is called formatting brush format painter. Take it and paint everything with this. Then it will all will come in that format. Right. So do this. Yep. Don't go. Now data is wrong. Wrong. I cannot help. Nobody can help. It is in wrong format. Yep. It's in wrong format. That's it. You have to correct it now. Right. Any other doubt? No. Okay, that's cool. Okay, now let's get into the subject. Last class, we have been talking about reports. We started with tablet report. We created a next level report called as mid summary report. Right? We created tablet and summary. In summary, in summary, we also created a chart. If you remember, I go to reports. I'm in classic. By the way, I click on opportunity sum. Right. I click on right. Customize this report. Right. Here is. Customize the report. Right. You can have maximum of three level of grouping. Three level of grouping is the maximum three level of grouping. Where? In summary report, you can have subtotal. These are subtotals average, minimum, maximum, and a grand total. Is the grand total. Whenever you group by, then only your chart get activated. Otherwise, your chart doesn't get activated. If you don't group by something, this chart cannot be activated. Perfectly done. I'm coming out of this report builder. Close. Once again, I will start with tabular report. A basic tabular report. Just one question, Mr. Rupam. The the look of the report uh, builder, I mean, is different in Lightning. Uh, so every yeah. time when we have Welcome to edit there. on new, we have to come to classic. Uh, no, you can you can edit it in Lightning also. Oh, okay, it only shows the preview. Oh, okay, Maybe you can well, tell I'll us. Come there. Wait, wait yeah, I'll come there. No. As okay. As as as, and I'll come to the Lightning and I'll show you how does it looks in Lightning. How can okay. you go ahead? Right. So let's see. 
can i edit a report that is created in classic and lightning can i edit a report that's creating in lightning in a classic right can i edit the chart can i download the chart so many things are there which we'll cover one by one right now i change from tabular to summary once again right grouping comes now every column you have sort ascending group this field if it's a numerical field then it will get summarize the field bucket a field remove a column whichever column you click sort ascending sort descending arrange my ascending order descending order group this field yes i want to group by lead source how many by walk-in how many by partner referral right earlier i grouped by city if you remember now i'm grouping by i'm grouping by what source right next here i have summarized this field which you have seen yesterday some average minimum maximum next one important is called bucketing a field very important topic what is a bucketing a field but bucketing a field is nothing but based on a condition i want to create a virtual column virtual column in a report for example i say bucket this field what is the column name i will column name is type of deal i am creating a column called as type of deal whenever the amount is right less than 50000 less than 50000 i will say small deal right 50000 i will say add 50000 to 1 lakh I will say medium deal. Right? I say add one lakh to three lakh. I will say high deal, high value deal. Add three lakh to five lakh. I will say super high deal. Anything greater than five lakh, I will say VVIP deal. See, I'm bucketing a column. Based on amount column, I am creating my own field. I click OK, and you see that a new column comes in. See, is there any field called as type of deal? No. Now you see small deal, medium deal, high value deal, high value deal, VIP deal, because five lakh seventy. 7,50 VIP, medium deal, small deal, medium deal, high deal. See, new column got created. Right? From a bucket, right? From a bucket, can I create one more bucket? No. I created a bucket. Now, I want to join medium, small and medium. I want to say as, right, okay deal. Can I do that? No, you cannot. From a bucket, you cannot create one more bucket. But from the field from where I created the bucket, can I create one more bucket? Yes. You can create it. One more. Whatever. Now you can say, oh, right. Or uh, I can say that acquisition deal, bucket this. I will say, right, deal type as per market, market style. right one lakh less low income lig deal low income group one lakh to five lakh mig deal middle income group above five lakh hig deal high income group lig mig hig you see in houses in kukatpally housing board LIG, MIG. Now see that from the same amount, I made two buckets. Can I make one more? Yes, n number of buckets you can make. But from a bucket, can I make one more bucket? No, you cannot. Can I use the bucket as it as right? Right. Now I'm removing it. See. How many small deal? How many big deal? See. I'm using 
bucketed field as grouping there is no column if you go to if you go to opportunity you don't see anything called type of deal it's we created right we created small deal medium deal high deal vip deal now i can create a graph see what do you want type of deal yes record count no right i want this because you didn't do any grouping you didn't do any summary summarize summarize i'll just sum now next time when i go edit chart i should be able to see sum of now you see so that your high deal is more than your vip deal your high deal revenues are more so see medium small deal medium deal high deal vip deal is this column available no these columns are not available you don't have these columns these are virtually created called as bucketed fields clear everyone what is a bucketed field right bucketed field bucketing a field next show details show details if i remove it data will be removed you know that i told you details means data drop zones whenever you click on drop zones what will happen the drag and drop is gone i can have maximum three level of grouping i did only one level type of deal where is this level level two level and third level in real time if you get a report and you don't see a drag and drop in the grouping then immediately come here click on show click on drop so then this drop will be available now you can drop in the grouping area i'm talking about this drag and drop grouping right this bar hide bar hide do you want to hide the chart hide the chart show the chart show the charge conditional highlighting one more you can highlight based on a field amount field whenever the amount you can give 50000 50000 or 0 to 50000 right you can color you can color you can choose a color what color right 50000 right you can choose a color amount field 50000 to 1 lakh i want green i want red click okay duplicate oh some of them on no sorry my mistake some of them on sorry whenever whenever the sum of the amount all right see conditional highlighting i want to write based on a condition i want to highlight okay for the moment let's leave it i say okay now you see see all red 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 this highlighting i'm doing from here conditional highlighting sum of the amount between How much I give? All right, one stands hundred thousand. Right. So you can give some numbers here, from five, five lakh to ten lakh. Ten one two three four five. This is five zero. Okay, ten zero. Click apply. Right. The high break point must be greater than the low break point. now you see that you're getting some high break right what is a high break point what is a low break point these are nothing but based on these these are the break points you can see that right question yes. yeah mr so is it this uh, 
the other two drop downs are for what i mean we can only see the sum of a amount as a no the, the the when you take right you can go an amount you can summarize for what average minimum maximum then that drop down will show you all those oh, okay now you see that the drop down will show all the four see okay the others are for others okay okay so it's for average whenever the average is between this to this color show me this color right it is it is just play with it you will understand it it will be coloring that's it something in excel also we use called conditional formatting the same thing is available here called as conditional highlights based on a condition you give this much this much this much this much it will it will start coloring in that right explore this out right i want you to explore this out it's simple what is that break find this numbers if i enter high number how what will happen just play around with it right next the next report that we are going to do today is called matrix so let me go ahead and save this report as save report as opp opp underscore sum2 summary2 where i'm saving i'm saving in the same personal report let it be safe done i'm coming out of the report builder save and close right so save and close okay now let's go ahead mm -hmm. if you want to create a new folder here it is an icon to create a new folder i will create new report folder what is the report folder name sal is sales report or rupam's report rupam's rupam's report i click on save rupam's report earlier i was saving everything here now i created one more folder called rupam's report i will start saving there whenever you want a report to be accessed by certain people only right you have to add them to a folder and then you have to share individually you cannot say that only rupam can access right we'll come to this whenever you want to give an access to this report i want that certain people only should be able to access create a folder you cannot give an access at a report level report level at a report level i can't give an access guys remember that this report right i my personal dashboard or sorry my personal custom report i created too right i created too can i give this access to someone else from here no you have to add a report to your folder then you grant access of a folder to someone else that's the way it work for example in public report i have opportunity tab tabular report i click on customize i'm going to the report builder from tabular now i change to matrix now i change to matrix you can see that grouping is available at row level grouping is available at grouping is available at row level as well as at it's near the fridge there outside so grouping is allowed at a row level as well as at a column level you can see two groupings are there this is a column level grouping straight this is a row level grouping row level grouping this is the grid this is the grid this is the grid the whole data is pushed towards the right side this is what is this this is column level grouping column level column grouping this is this whole part is row level grouping this part is called grid grid 
summary grid. If you see the definition I gave you to create a summary grid, your where is the data? Your report data is pushed towards the right side. This is your data. This piece is your data. Report data. See how the matrix report is looking. This part is your report. All your report is pushed towards the right side. Right? In the left side, you have a summary grid coming up. How many groupings are allowed, Max? I told you, Max 2. Max 2. 2 plus 2, 4 level of groupings are allowed. 4 levels of groupings are allowed. Let's go ahead. What do you want to do? I want to buy city, C I T Y city. In the row, I'm giving city. Right? You can see that system is dividing New, New York, total four. New York, four. New York. Now, on the column, I will say by, by type or by uh, source. See that? Your data is pushed towards the right side. Your data is pushed towards the right side. Your whole screen comes up here. Right, I'm just did a one level of grouping. That's it. I click on run report. See, a grid comes in. For example, city, New York. Total, how many are there? Total 10 customers. From New York, you have 10. From 10. Out of the 10, four are go straight direct walking. How many by web? Oh, one minute. I'll just try to put it exactly here. Okay, right. There we go. New York, four by walk in. Web zero, phone zero, right? Purchase list zero, others zero, word of mouth zero, employee referral zero, external referral three, partner referral three. See? Which are those three? These are those three records. One, one, one. So these are three. These are the three. Right? Able to understand? This is showing you a summary. This is showing you this whole block is a grid coming up automatically. Right? The whole block is a grid. I click on customize. I want to see the revenue in the grid. Right? This grid, whatever the grid is there, right? It's showing the number. Come here in the amount, summarize, sum, apply, so that in the grid also automatically the money value will come in. How many by, right? Now if you run the report, I run the report. Let's take an example of what, okay? Chicago itself. Let's take example of Chicago city. Total Chicago collection walking is 15,000. All 000. Employee referral 250,000. External referral 650,000. Total three deals we have got it. Which are those three? Here it is. 350, 210, 90. Where is the record? These are the records. One, two, three. There are three. Total there are five. From the five, I am getting 9,15,000. You sum up this now, you'll get the same thing here. System is giving a grid and the data is pushed towards the right side. The data is pushed towards the right side. On the right side, the data is getting pushed. Right side, the data is getting pushed. You are getting a, a grid. This grid is called as, right? How many grouping I've done? Only one level now. One in Billing City, one here. Now I go ahead and see that, how more it will be. Inside the city, I want to see by, I want to see by what? I want to see by hmm, type. Let's see what is the type. 
new customer existing customer type see the grouping is gone only two level here phone i want to see the stages stage right now when i run the report right see web three stages prospecting closed phone inquiry only prospecting right walk-ins blank blank means walk-in prospecting need analysis value proposition identify decision makers proposal and quote negotiation review right system is giving two level one two here one two first by billing city then by type austin type is existing customer upgrade existing customer replacement new customer type total how much new customer zero total by walk-in how much zero next ah here i have you can see that word of mouth 75 system is building a complete summary for you a grid it's building a grid for you it's building a grid for you wherever there's no data it's leaving it blank it's leaving, it's creating a grid for you see grids this is called matrix report carefully analysis you'll be able to understand two level of groupings one at row level one at column level total four level of grouping can be done i've done this so no more drag and drop can i insert yes same chart what do you want to do funnel right type lead source by lead source some of the amount yes formatting show values show percentage or uh, right oh too much gij 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 okay show percentage enable hoover click okay graph comes in 66% revenue blue that is nothing but walk in from walk in we have 66 percentage guys 66% is from walk in right 66 percentage of this is walk in this is called as your right matrix report can i create a graph in matrix report yes matrix report gives you a grid and the data pushes to the right side in the grid i can have two levels of grouping it's showing the summary summary grid we call them as i can have row row level two grouping column level two grouping and system will give you a complete exposure what's exactly happening in your system it's a complex type of report we Mr. call them Ram as tell me yeah. yeah can you repeat the funnel again uh, you created on a single data single data screen. only funnel always yeah. single data yeah so you cannot create you... a multiple data on a funnel take a funnel chart what do you huh. want i want the values is some of the amount what is the segment by billing city okay. then billing city ah, okay so, right austin right 23% from where from new york funnel clear yes everyone good all good yes yeah right you need to practice i know that it's looking all yeah, looks it's a little complex fancy. yeah it's a little i understand that 100% so i go ahead and i click on save as what is the name i will say opp underscore matrix matrix i will not save in the folder i will save in rupam's report folder i will save hierarchy level check save hierarchy level to save the report to all drill down level right i don't have a check at this moment i say save a report has been saved in a folder if you click on run report it will run with a graph and with this 
and here i can say hide details only that will show the grid all the data is removed no data is there right and in in real time we create these reports guys see like this i have just created a simple just created a simple matrix report why that's good by the way let's go to the folder where did we save we saved in this folder in the folder i have an option called as share currently rupam and right i am the manager editor viewer manager can manage the whole report he can delete he can edit but editor can only edit viewer can only run the report he can't make the changes editor can make the changes editor can make the change in the filter in the filter editor can make change manager is a person who can delete the report also manager doesn't mean manager i will say see share with user role who with whom you want to share i want to share with user which user i want to share with rahul as what viewer editor manager i will say editor done this report will be now visible to rahul also this folder will be visible and in this this report will be visible i am giving it to the folder i am not giving it to the report guys remember that any report inside this folder will be now visible to rahul share you can go by role anyone who has area sales manager or all the vps can see this viewers only they can click on the folder they will see this report they'll click on it it'll run that's it they can't change they can't do anything because they are the viewer only viewer so in real time you have to create folders based so on the folders reports will be shared individual reports cannot be shared yes oh yeah that's what i was asking Ki individual report cannot be shared no, oh, no. Okay. only based on a folder individual report cannot be shared it is if one report you want to share then you have to create a folder for it there's no other option currently reports are shared on folder basis you can share it to a user you can share it to your role and role and subordinate role and subordinate or you can do a team you can see that you cannot share with a profile with a team we created a team right we created some teams did we no not yet oh sorry we are still here no we have not yet gone there okay did we create a team we did right we created user if i'm not wrong i should be able to see the team here what is the team that we created hy something we created no did we no, or did we, we not no 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 we only created users till now no roles or teams we created only user yeah we didn't create a queue did we create a queue no we didn't create a queue no no we have not created i have asked doubt no no did we create a permission set yes yes we have oh yes man. okay okay that's the reason so you should have stopped me there and there itself see i have so many batches running right which batch what is going on i mean uh, many a times right okay yes that's really bad out, uh, if you remember uh, what is the importance of role oh okay yeah she asked yeah okay right under the user because see when i'm going i'm completing each and everything for example in the data i went ahead and completed one by one by one in the email i was going ahead and completing everything one by one by one 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 down right same in the user i should have groups public groups i didn't create it queues i didn't create it right roles did we create it yes we created roles i remember types of roles chairman right this is what we created svp senior vp we created the roles after the roles there are two more things to be created called as queue and public okay and yeah not a problem we'll come there we have seen permission set i remember permission set permission set group ps ps group we created 
the only thing that we missed out here was queues queues did we create it no queues and public group okay so fine what you can do is that you can create a team public group public group is nothing but team let's come here back to the user collection of one or more user you can form a group new group i'm creating a group what is the group name i will say hydra hyderabad fun club hyderabad fun club a group right right public group whom you want to join you want to add users one by one rahul rupam in real time we don't do that no we don't add users because tomorrow if the user leaves he will be still be part of this team he got a promotion for example rahul got a promotion to other team right who will come and manually remove rahul from hyderabad fun club maybe rahul got a promotion and he moved to bangalore is it he is a part of hyderabad team no more he will but he will be still somebody has to come and manually remove it in real time we don't add by users we add by what roles india what i will say subordinate what i will look for right right president india and below role and subordinate anybody who is who is reporting to this president india below in the chart we created role right you create you remember that we created an organization chart just to recall so now any person whomever you assign right territory manager telangana state he is reporting to south south is reporting to india so that means everybody will be part of okay you want hyderabad no so remove i don't want india it should be hyderabad so area sales manager hyderabad and below that's it everybody will be part of this team right i created a team called as public group hyderabad fun club i'll create one more called as technical support hyderabad support l1 technical technical support l1 who should be part of it again you can see we created a group called hyderabad fun club you can team can be part of a team you can put one team inside another team you want fun club is inside technical support right roles are useful to create groups teams we are creating teams roles are useful at mul multiple places for example right report access i was just showing you in a report to give access in a report right in a report right whenever you want to give access to a folder i mean here itself right these are the reports that we created we are in lightning only right all folders right so public report all report right there's a folder called as see rupam this folder under all folder go to the all folder you will be able to see rupam here you have an option called as share i mean lightning now doing the same thing share with whom share with a user share with a role share with a role and subordinate share with the public group now you see that public group i created a public called cup called hyderabad fun club anybody who is part of hyderabad fun club will be now able to see this report folder what do you want to ask you want to ask a view edit or manage manage means manager edit means editor view means read only view i'll just share hyderabad fun club can now see this report folder whatever you report you full see this is the important of importance of role role can be used for sharing of a reports of a records role can be useful for creating a team i am creating a hyderabad fun club i am creating a team called as technical support one i am going by roles only certain roles i will take only certain roles i will take i will say all these three people along with that can i have a combination yes 
add rupam and rahul also add public group also technical support one consists of one group two users three roles not subordinate only roles subordinate means below that role and below role all the roles below this i created technical team one so with the help of a roles we can create teams roles are useful for giving access to report folders you have just seen that i can give access grant access to report folder right so we'll come to queue later now let's come to the reporting we'll complete report rupam uh, one question yes. here tell me public i have seen an option delegated admin group what is that exactly that we'll come to that delegated admin group later there is a separate okay. option right we'll come there that's good right so i switch to classic now i am in reports you can grant access to your reports no we cannot grant access to a report we can grant access only to a folder not to a report guys there is a share you can see that so many hyderabad fun club it's a group it's a team collection of lot of people plus role plus everything roles are also added users are also added clear now yes how can i grant access to others to see my report through folder only through folder only if you put a report in a public folder by default it can be accessible by everyone personal report only accessible by me then you can start creating folder and you can start granting access to others so what are the reports we have seen we have seen right opportunity report tabular report sorry tabular report summary report matrix report the last report is called joint report joint let's understand joint report customize what is a joint report whenever you want to join one or more tables together i already give you the definition whenever you want to join one or more tables what does that mean i am seeing opportunity i want to see corresponding cases i want to see corresponding orders can i see yes for example i am removing this opportunity name opportunity amount i will change this report to a joined report immediately add report type buttons get activated add report type button get activated i change it back to tabular see this button is deactivated this button is deactivated right clear this get activated only when you select join you select summary no it's not activated you select matrix no you don't you select joined yes this get added i say add report type what type of reports i want i want order i want order order with product or order only order i say okay there is a blue bar now a green bar comes order number i am removing all the column right here it is order order number amount i want to see case there is orange bar coming up case owner not required open or closed that's it see there are three now there are three blocks blue block green block orange block blue block i can give a name vip or all opportunities you can give a name orders active orders cases 
right? I will say all cases. No, I want only open cases. Where is the filter area? Here is the filter area. Case, show me, right? You can drag and drop. You can drag and drop. Case, status, status. Not in order, in case, case status, right? See, add, it says, but I can't add from here, right? Add, add, right? To add filters, click add, add. See, now you add, don't drag and drop. Here, drag and drop doesn't work. Only when status is equals to what, closed or open, escalated, closed, new or working, working escalated. Okay, now the case is only showing, see, you can put your filter. Same way if you want to put a filter in order, you can click on add. You have to put a filter on opportunity, click on add. Now I'm saying remove, right, all cases. Do you think this is a sync? Here it's showing account name. Oh, name. Name. What is that? Order. Order. In order. Right. In order. I see owner. No, I don't need owner. I want order name. Right. Account name. The first line is showing Dixon in opportunity. Here it's showing Bollywood. Here it's showing Tollywood. Are it's matching? No. Can you see a common line between all these three? There's a common line between blue, green, and orange. Yeah, drag and drop. Whichever is black, common field only, you can drag and drop. Name is common everywhere. I drag and drop. Maximum how many level of grouping? Right here also three level of grouping. Now you see that I say run report. I get a joint report where I get data from three tables. I say Bollywood, there are two opportunities, 80,000. There are one order and one case. I'm scrolling down, see? Account name, Grand Hotel, no opportunity, but there are four cases all closed. Scroll down, right? You can see account name, right? How many orders? Zero orders, seven cases. In a single block, you can see orders, cases, everything together. Bollywood, two opportunity, one order, one case, and it's closed. We can go ahead and call Bollywood. They will not object they will not object because right I'm, I'm before calling them I'm checking any cases ah oh, there's one case and closed now I can call Shahrukh Khan or Saif Ali Khan hey Katharina how are you our service is best you see that you don't have a single complaint in our system I see that Saif Ali Khan has placed an order of you know two lakh Katharina Kaf when are you going to place the order by looking at this report in a single window, I can see what's happening in other object. We call them as joint reports where I joined. Earlier, I've been doing only an opportunity. Now I'm mixing opportunity plus order plus case. Anything, wherever there's a connection, you can mix it. Clear? We call this as a joint report joint report more than one object is joined whenever the more than one or more object is joined together we call them as joint reports right joint reports three tables I have joined opportunity table order table case table customize I click on save as OPP underscore J O I N E D. 
where do you want to save in my folder save done done somebody is asking me why we switch to classic frequently why can't we do it in lightning yes we can thanks murli for supporting me <laughs> okay sir if you tell me to do in lightning then i need not to waste time in classic i would have get it lightning would have same save lot of my time i stand in what is the purpose i am asking the purpose is that are you sure in real time environment when you'll get a job you'll get a you'll get a lightning environment or you'll get a classic environment okay tell me whatever project will you get because i told you 60 to 80% of the companies are still in classic 80% of the companies who have implemented right since for long back whoever are the sales force okay. legacy customer they are on classic they have not yet migrated to lightning that means if you join a company big company oh mute 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 if you join a company right who has implemented salesforce in the year of 2012 99% chances is that they are still using classic they have not yet moved to lightning yet your project will be based on lightning or classic only then then what will happen now when i'll go to classic the whole screen will change if you learn in classic if you learn in lightning you cannot build a report in classic i give you that bet that's the reason i'm showing you i'm i'm actually i'm wasting time i'm showing in classic i'm showing in lightning i'm teaching you both both the platform right i should have gone only with lightning i shouldn't have come to the classic direct lightning right by this time i had have completed the reporting also right okay fine that is the reason that just so that you guys don't suffer in the real time right that's the reason i'm showing in two two platforms now i will switch to lightning right and then okay, sir, thank you only the difference that's why we are doing it okay now done we created one question here we yep. create accounts contacts everything in lightning so the screens will be same in classic as well or yes. uh, yes. we need to practice same. even classic both lightning and classic is same only the appearance is different okay. look and feel all the the eff everything. efficiency efficiency is technology is different aura here visual force here looks like a web page there it looks like an interactive tool these are slow these are you know multiple page components multiple page concept their single page concept here right here right because you have asked no so let's go ahead and see right see that okay close here let let me see i go to account i click on new account okay not new account let's close it i open an account jagdish chandra bose this is an account why that's a contact no we anyhow we uploaded wrong so bollywood an account right i am editing this account i am editing this account i am editing the phone number let's say that employee 500 at the same time i didn't saved it guys employee 5000 i didn't saved it i didn't saved it i didn't saved it i didn't saved it suddenly i realized that oh we have to create a meeting i click on event the data 500 5000 is lost overwritten another page got loaded let's switch to lightning let's do the same thing in lightning and see let's do the same thing in lightning i am on the same account i am opening the same account bollywood i was updating bollywood you remember i go to details i was updating bollywood you remember i was updating the employees to 5000 5000 i didn't save here also i didn't save suddenly i remember oh i have to create a meeting right see parallelly i am working call the customer the data is not lost no new page loaded multiple that's a multiple page concept here is a single page concept everything is one page suddenly you 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 made it half are shit i have to create a case no see 
two open things are there there are two open things happening one updating the bollywood one creating an event on that you are creating a new case ah the case is for icsa bank phone not working see the efficiency can you do exactly this task parallelly parallel work can you do in classic no the 5000 is lost if i go back i'll not find 5000 here neither the 5000 is lost neither the call the cus 6 is lost neither the case is lost everything is there i can create a new case ah uh, no not not happy save case got created i'm still back to my window case 1029 got created i'm here right call the cust call the cust i click save i still this component is there see 5000 is still not lost still it's there efficiency right reusability efficiency single single page concept same thing if i do in classic you cannot do like this at a time only one you are editing editing you are creating a case create a case you are creating a meeting create a meeting that's it if you are creating a meeting you cannot edit you if you are editing you cannot create a meeting right simple example i gave you between a difference between a lightning it is the feature see this feature can you build this feature here no how can i build such features using a lightning development classes right here you see that this whole one square box is one component this is another component this is another component it's in one application there are three components three components rupam what are you talking about we are not able to understand no paint see we are jumping so many places from one place to other this whole is one component individual component this whole is one individual component this whole is another individual component this is whole is another individual component total there are three components lying all are individual to each other but they are in a single page single application see three component concept right actually these are all right understood now that's good by the way we came to we came to lightning let's see the difference in lightning whenever i click a new report in lightning what i get let's open it now somebody wants lightning no what type of report you want to create i want to create opportunity report same thing opportunity i'll say continue see the report builder here is the report builder here also field area this is your field area next this is your filter or conditional area and the next preview area here also three same three where do you see here whether it's a summary report whether it's a tabular report nowhere i have only two reports here report or joint report how where you see a tabular report where you see it's a tabular report summary report matrix report no you cannot right can i drag and drop the field here no for example type can i drag and drop like this right what happened i dragged no type it came you can yes you see that type you dragged and drop here but it's not reflecting because automatically update previews off turn it on turn it on type can i remove like this can i remove isaac see you cannot remove there we can remove from preview here you cannot remove from preview classic you can remove here you have to remove from here yeah like this you cannot drag remove but dragging yes right i want lead source drag you can drag here can i drag here yes even if you drag it will come here 
can i remove from here yes here also ascending descending group this bucket this field show unique count this is which is not there in lightning in classic it's not there unique show me the unique unique count of this field i don't want duplicate hide unique count show unique count where is the count down bottom sorry right show unique count how many are there scroll down unique seven web partner partner repeating it will not take excel excel repeating unique is seven in this unique count the unique count is not there in classic but it's there in lightning in lightning you don't have any classification called as summary report or a matrix report how do you understand by this grouping here is a group here is a group by the way let's do one thing right i come here i say remove all columns everything is removed aha perfect filter here is the outline and filter filter no date range all time apply next come to the outline you see row level grouping column level grouping grouping group rows right grouping rows column will come as soon as we drag and drop now we drag and want to drag and drop here also same thing right name i am in lightning now right drag here or drag there meaning is same your wish account name opportunity same report i am building stage s t a g stage which stage they are in drag and drop uh, it will come here automatically next billing city billing city i drag here billing city billing city billing city billing city drag billing city right so account name billing city opportunity stage amount source how did they came to us opportunity name source stage source finally i will say amount same report i am building here in lightning now amount report comes unless and until now can i create matrix to create a matrix first you have to create a summary at row level i will say drag and drop to this yeah or group by what city billing city then only column group will come whenever it's a row level grouping three row level row level grouping it's a what type of report it's a summary report whenever you add a column grouping also lead source now it became a matrix keep on watching here data is not pushed toward the right the data is pushed toward the bottom matrix the grid is available on the top data there the data is pushed towards right here the data is pushed towards the bottom and you can see the report here by looking at the grouping you have to understand that it's a summary report but there you have a clear visibility with a summary report for this matrix report here only the same thing two at column two at row if it's a summary then three at row row level grouping three similarly you can change from here to joint report same thing i change to join and i click on apply whatever we just now opportunity block add block what do you want to add i want to add orders i want to add orders see add block again one block will be added green block orders remove all column i want only certain column right drag and drop type o r d r order 
see all the order fields are there order order name order amount to green same i can say add block i can add case same thing what i did there same thing i'm doing here right see orange block after the orange block we have green block and then blue block right here from a joint i'm changing to report apply only opportunity will be there I have to add a grouping city here let's see the graph city as soon as i add a group my add chart get activated here the graphs are different automatically it comes click on setting you see that is a stacked stack for stack we required multiple data anyhow same graph but the colors are different here see you can give a chart title here it is the choice record count billing city you can see right colors default color gray palette black and white or color safe normal if you say default palette vibrant vibrant colors black and white black and white color safe medium shades not vibrant shades medium shades at least you can choose a shade here asian paint color shades are available here but can i choose individual colors no show values show percentage position right left bottom that's it you cannot do much here chart title right opportunity revenue by city there you can have a background color right done right you can see that yeah now i click on right let me save this save as what is that opp underscore sum summary underscore lt lightning which folder select a folder can i select the folder that was created in classic yes i say select folder click select folder if you want to create a folder here is a new folder option there you can create a folder i click on save the report got created and it's been run now i will say run the report see when you learn in classic how fast you can learn here and you can feel the difference right there we go this is how the user will run here show subtotal no show grand total no grand total is nothing but at the bottom last is the grand total where is that here no row count don't show me taxon 3 portland 3 don't show me right how can you subscribe here it is subscribe export see edit in classic you build in lightning can i edit in classic yes the report that you build in lightning can be built in can be customized in classic see? export it will give you formatted details if you take formatted you cannot change the format excel sx if you take details you get an option called as excel and csv which is there in classic also in lightning this is extra formatted see export now it's exporting here it is let's open it let's open it right will i got the graph no graph will never come guys you got the report extracted see in a formatted 
right click see graph exporting graph right exporting graph toggle chart export 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 chart you don't have an export chart option anywhere you can't export this chart you want you have to take a screenshot only i don't have it i can't right click here also i don't have option subscribe any changes will you subscribe to me similarly i created a report where opportunity tab i created there can i customize in lightning i did right can i customize in lightning see it says edit classic edit classic let's go back i created a report what i created lt i am opening it it is created in lightning i have an edit here lightning is directly edited in lightning see lightning can be directly edited in lightning once again i am going to report i click on right opportunity summary created in classic yes edit classic report also can be edited in lightning there is no option guys see take any report click on edit so there is no stoppage that lightning report cannot be built with classic classic report cannot be built with lightning no these are all i created yesterday 18th opportunity summary i created yesterday not today right any take any report whether today or yesterday right i created a 17th for example this opportunity tab right tabular yesterday i created it i click on edit yes report created in classic can be edited in lightning report created in lightning can be edited in classic that is the difference guys there's nothing more difference here colors is a difference and unique is one of the difference unique field right and report type is not visible this is the only difference color palette you can select you have three color choice there are no color choice here black and white there are no black and white plus unique one extra feature available and we cannot directly identify whether it's a summary report tabular report we have to see the grouping by grouping only you have to understand if both row and column grouping are there it's a matrix if only row grouping is there then it's a summary no grouping tabular joined separate joint report whenever you see blocks clear everyone yes Yes. Now, work the report on Lightning and Classic. Lightning and Classic. So that if I'd have started with Lightning, then it would have been difficult for you to go ahead and do the same thing in Classic, right? Because there there is a joint report here. There is nothing called joint report something. Just, but because you did there, it is easy that we are able to do it here. so right go ahead practice this reports right start creating reports start right now let's come back to last 10 minutes we will see right somebody right is it kirti or someone who's this who will be presenting the duplicate detection rule for cross object Or yeah, that's me. Who? Kirti. Right, Kirti. So, let's go ahead and hand over to Kirti, ma'am. Right. So, Kirti, ma'am is now going to show us how to go ahead and create a cross-duplicate 
rule right she will walk you whichever object she is picking up lead versus contact or contact versus lead right and she will show that if a record is available on another object and you are trying to create a record in another object then the reference will be taken and it will be showing an error message right so i will go ahead and i'll keep quiet i will give it to where is kirti okay right click make kirti presenter there you go kirti can you see my screen yes okay. i'll talk a little lower because there is a class going on so yeah and that's okay um, no problem okay. so okay for this we go to setup And since we have to match the lead with the contact, uh, we'll first make the matching rule on contact object. So this is the rule I created. Uh, I will deactivate it and make it a new rule. Okay. Let's try it. So probably with edit we can see here. Yeah. So I can show it here wrongly. I made I made this duplicate uh, rule matching rule on contact. You see on contact where I put the matching criteria with email, last name, um, and mobile name, exact match. Right, and I did activate. And then the duplicate rule I made for. lead lead object so action is on create i have to block and i use compare leads with contacts and then i use this rule my rule because we have to cross uh, you know, compare and here i use the rule i made and that's it make mapping is selected Save and activate. Okay. Else? So now when Where I go, um, um, I so in my contact, for example, I have this Jimmy Chan and then details. I can see his details. The mobile is this name. This last name is Chan, and then the email is jadarjay.com. And I will try to make a new lead here with the same detail. So I will see. First name is and you can check and then. And company BBC. mobile has to be 
Let's look at this right there. And he... This one. Then I do... And I try to say, it will say, you can't say this. And if you look at the details, it will say, it's showing the content. So main thing is, uh, I made the matching rule on context object. And when I made the duplicate rule, it is cross-checking with the content using the context matching rule. That's it. Perfect. So what is the purpose? You have to create a rule on contact. You have to create a matching rule on contact. When you create a duplicate rule, create the duplicate rule on lead. Create the duplicate rule on lead. Duplicate rule on lead. Open it. Select lead compare with contact. And select the contact matching rule. There you have an option called as map field. There is a mapping field is also available where you can map. You know, for example, I uh, in a lead, if somebody enters the mobile number, but here I want to compare that mobile number with phone, not mobile number to mobile number. Can I do that? Yes. I can customize my fields mapping also. In lead, if somebody enters the phone, I want to check not with contact phone. I want to check lead phone with contact mobile. Can I do that? Yes. You have a mapping options also available. Mostly we don't touch it in, in real time. We don't because both has to be same. Right? We don't touch. But the core concept of cross is that from wherever you want to, whichever object you want to compare, create that matching rule. Then create the duplicate rule where you want to have the duplication. So I want to have a duplication in lead. And I want to compare with contact. So create a matching rule of contact. Then create a duplicate rule of lead. Create a duplicate rule on lead. Select the matching rule of the contact. Select contact and it works. See, there is a map field is there. Map. If you click on the map field, you can go ahead and you can map it. Which field to which field. You can change this mapping. Right Here now, email is compared with email. Last name is last name. I told you no. In case I want the contact mobile to be compared with lead phone you can do that now it's activated so yes you cannot but if it's deactivated you have a complete option to go ahead and even map it as per your requirement you have an option to map those fields mapping right you can go ahead you can see map selected here now you can change the mapping so i can change from mobile to phone see so contact mobile phone will be compared with lead phone so whatever you enter in the lead phone that it will not match with contact mobile it will match with so it will not match with uh, uh, the contact phone it will match with the contact mobile so you can do this type of mapping cuz you know custom mapping also can be done everyone clear right everyone clear how to create a cross try today once again right yes. basic things remember that Create wherever you want to create a duplication rule, right? Keep that for duplication. With whatever you want to match, create a matching rule. So I want to compare lead with contact. So create contact matching rule, create lead duplication rule. In the lead duplication rule, go ahead and select, go ahead and select, right? The contact matching rule. And if you don't map also, the way you don't edit the mapping, it will be auto mapping and you just save it, activate, done. It's a simple process. That's it. Right? So try this today. Those who have any questions, they can come. Right? We will again meet on Monday. We will talk about dashboard. Right? We will talk about dashboards on Monday's class. But whoa, um, Mr. Rupan, the data loader question is still there. I'm stuck with that. Uh, data loader what the thing oh, the activity somebody will show the homework on monday no monday who will show the data loader uh, yeah, Rupam, on monday i will show definitely if it is oh. fine now i can just complete in 10 minutes to 15 minutes yeah actually yes. shall we i yeah. don't mind you want to yeah, extend it's been five days i've been waiting 
okay i have a meeting yeah, at seven sure. o'clock so well and fine so let me make let me make let me go ahead and make who has a presenter now uh p we just we need p there are two pages for that's the reason okay there we go tejaswini you have so let's see that also okay uh, fine so the assignment was uh, how to upload a lead and along with it we need to upload the call and the event also okay so here i have one of the lead for which i have already created one call and one event okay uh, so uh, when we just click uh, the event it will be directly taking you towards the uh, calendars okay and again when you just click the lead and whenever you uh, check your call records it will be directly taking you to the task okay so here it is very simple first of all we need to divide the complete assignment into two parts okay first is lead the second is call and the event okay first here we need to find out how to synchronize the lead and the call the lead and the event okay for synchronizing call with the lead we need to have the lead id that is called as who id okay so there are the three uh, important uh, fields which we need to synchronize that is who id what id owner id owner id is the person or the user who is creating that id and who id is on whose name it is getting created okay so when we just compare uh, the event event in the lead and event in the calendar we have two similar kind of fields that is subject is similar start date and the end, uh, end date is similar all the event is similar name is similar related to is similar assigned to is similar and location is similar okay so uh, just i'm just showing you here see whenever you are going to uh, build a log call here you have call comment name and related to and even when you are trying to do it from the task okay mm. yeah if you are going to build a new task you again have the fields here as assigned to status subject name due date related to and the priority right so to do all the assignment i just created one csv file in which i have taken the last name owner id who id and other subjects like what we need to synchronize okay first of all i'm opening my data folder in which i'm just uh, Im importing my lead okay Uh, I'm just mapping the columns, mapping the fields. Uh, one second, just when you just started time, ended time, how did it came? Because I searched for it, I couldn't see. Yeah, sure. Uh, just a second, I'll be even showing you that also. Um, yeah, here, uh, whenever you just try to, you know, upload this date and time, it is in the format of data type, date time. Okay, it is not individually date, it is not individually time. It is a combination of date and time. Okay, in the real time, there is one scenario. I just came uh, in some website. It has been given that. This is the format. This is the format of the date and time. 
Here that 1700 is representing the year. 01 will be the month. 01 will be the uh, date. Okay. And T from T the timing will be starting. Okay. First 00 will be your hours. Second 00 will be your minutes. And third 00 will be your seconds. Okay. And that Z is uh, a GMT designation. Okay. So uh, in this format, I have taken my start time and end time. Uh, I'll be just showing you even that. See, this is the format where I have taken my start date and my end date. Okay, uh, 2020 is the year, 01 is the month, 15th is the date, and from T your time starts, right? So 01 is the hours time. Okay, and in the end time, I have just given some, uh, you know, some hours prior to that. Like, you know, even the same date it is ending up, but it is ending at two o'clock in the morning. Here it is starting at one o'clock in the evening, sorry, in the morning, right? So this is uh, the way you need to take the start time and the end time. And other formats, like uh, in other websites, it has been given like without GMT, without Z, it has been given, but it is not working out. Uh, this is the format which is working right now. So uh, in the data loader, I have synchronized city with city. What I'm saying is I'm not able to find. This. Oh, just this. Can you open the mapping again? The mapping. Okay. Yeah. So this thing, I'm not able to find this end date time. That's why I was not able to insert because I couldn't find the start date time and end date time in the mapping. Uh, see, the start date time and end date time will be coming in the event and in the task. Okay, whenever you come to leave, there is no start time, there is no end time. Yeah, here that's what. Yeah. yeah, here you need to take your input three times. One is for leave, one is for task, and other one is for event. Three times you need to import the data. Uh, I don't get it. I mean, <laughs> What's the okay. base data? The base data is lead. Okay. First is your base data. What is the okay. base data? Base data is in lead. So first load mm -hmm. the lead. Even yeah. though the data is in a single Excel sheet, let it be on a single Excel sheet. So in the Excel sheet, you have a start date, end date, but creating mm -hmm. a lead doesn't need a start date and end date, right? It's a, yeah. It's start date and end date is required for a call, for an event, for a task. You need it. When the task starts, when the task ends, when the event starts, when the event ends. So you don't so, have to map it. It will go automatically. No, yes, ignore it. Ignore those columns. Okay. Ignore those columns. It is not okay. compulsory that you have to map each and every column. No. Okay. okay. Right. That's what she is doing. She she is creating the base data first. All right. right? Okay. Might be getting confused by seeing the ID. ID you will get once you load the lead. Until then you won't be get ID. Yeah, exactly. After you uh, load it, then you need to export it. Then after that, you'll be getting the lead ID. You need to change your file. Once the lead is loaded, you have to add the IDs uh, to load event or task, whatever it is. Yes, exactly. Then only the synchronization will be done. Okay, now I understood. You have to insert it after the lead is inserted and then this yes, will automatically the go to the event to and there. task. Okay. So now the base right. data is getting inserted. Yes. So... so here are the 10 leads which I just created. Okay. Now I need to export this data.
now i just uh, exported all the data So see, uh, these are the 10 names which I have created, okay? Just take two, that will be enough. Okay, remaining you yeah, all you can sure. delete. Right. So she's getting the lead ID now, the lead that she got created. She's okay. pulling the lead ID. Right. That lead ID, she'll be associating the the task. Task details. Then the task details. So just to, you can delete all the line number three, four, five, six. Just delete everything. That's so that only for these two records she wants to insert. So where do you want to insert? I want to insert for this particular lead ID, right? Yeah. So see. Right. Now again, you need to insert it. Uh, example, if you are inserting it for event. event. So that did, that's what I was asking. The second time we have to do it on lead or event or task. No, event. Then in the lead, there is nothing, right? Event yeah, is that's to lead. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. See, all the events, uh, task, these are all individual. They can, they are available everywhere. They are not specific to lead. They are in, they are in uh, cases. They are in opportunities. They are everywhere. Right? If you see the diagram that I gave you, activities I gave you on the right side. They are available everywhere. So, uh, can this process be automated to be uh, running a single step it or like an event? Uh, the event can go in one run. No. Uh, you can do it, but you have to do a lot of programming for this. Yes. Yeah, I, I understand. API, SOAP well, API, yes. ID has to come. Yeah. Because ID is required. Without an ID, you cannot do anything. Okay, I get it now. So my first confusion was that you have to do, I mean, insert a lead with activities, but that was not the requirement. No. And the second time, my, my confusion was that for updating the event and task, we have to use lead only. So that was that's why I was confused. Because in the lead, you don't have events. Event yeah, is separate, yeah. task is separate. Right, yeah. See, uh, now it has been uh, uploaded, okay? Event has been uploaded. Next time when you go and see Flores or whatever it is, in the lead, you will be able to see that event coming up first. The main is the date format and she caught it correctly. That is the reason I gave you to load activities because in the activities you have a date. Yeah, so uh, actually I didn't match the subject. 
so if i match the subject it will be popping up uh, rest it will be same even for the call you need to do the same uh, but in the call uh, there is one thing that is always end time and the duration in minutes or duration in the second should be same that is one of the important point otherwise it won't be taking the data as input i'll be just showing you uh, see uh, here here i have my end time right it is 2020 15th again if you are going to do it in minutes uh, do it in minutes will be an event itself okay if you are going to synchronize duration in minutes with minutes it should be again in the same format as end date if not you will be getting a error like you know duration minutes should be same as end time okay rest everything is similar for, even for the task also Uh, see here even you got now the call also right uh, you just logged the call and you have even an event the only thing is okay. uh, whatever we are just importing it it should match the data type which is given in the data loader that is it because even we have int int type see here in this task i have imported called like call duration in seconds right that call duration in seconds is like only int type where you can give like 10 or 5 or something but whenever you come to event it is duration in minutes so that duration in minutes should be completely same to end time date whatever you are going to give so these are the two points if you uh, keep it then you can just do the assignment completely so Correct. any other queries no can you okay. can you can you ping the date format you, to I everyone think... on a chat window just yeah, ping it to me sure 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 yeah sure ping it to me i'll share with everyone right sure sure so anybody has any questions no right no so once she pings i'll ping you right just ping to organizer or but right? you should have an option called as ping to organizer no right now it's not coming okay okay no problem just move let people take a screenshot if required guys take a screenshot this is the exact format you need to have a gmt there even though different blogs and different you know uh, website might say you that no it works in that format this format okay she is pinged I i'm pinging I to everyone it. yeah yeah i'm i'm pinging to everyone this is the format you have to remember exact this this is the catch my whole that is for both the start and the end time yep. i just copied it for right. both start and that's okay that's okay that's okay right it's a it's a date format my main aim was to make you understand the date format how to give a date format right because remaining data is quite simple but only thing is that the date format is quite complex while uploading and that's exactly what i was looking for remaining everything is same same mapping same uploading right with an id 
first upload lead export the lead id i just need the id right as well as the created by id right all the ids created by created uh, on all the, all those i uh, sorry created by those ids i need once i have the id i can form a separate file or same file and i can upload it but not on lead because lead contains lead i'll up, upload on task separate one okay so that's it for today right let's meet on monday same time so thanks have a nice and wonderful day thanks to both of you kirti as well as right what's her name i have been right? uh, tejeshwini tejeshwini right kirti and tejeshwini thank you both the girls did good job have a nice and wonderful day happy weekends bye bye guys thank you mr thank you bye